A law firm has released more findings that they say bring into question the guilt of an Oklahoma death row inmate. Richard Glossop has been on death row for 25 years now for a 1997 murder. But as his execution date gets closer, lawyers say new evidence proves he didn't do it. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale talked with advocates on both sides of this case, and she's joining us now with details. Well, those who are standing by Richard Glossop say that no jury in their right mind who had access to all of this information would find him guilty. Meanwhile, the Attorney General's office says Glossop's story has changed several times, and Justin Sneed's story is corroborated by other evidence. Shocked, sad, angry. How Richard Glossop's attorney, Don Knight, is feeling about the new findings just released in a law firm's independent investigation into the case. I just spent 25 years on death row now for a crime he didn't commit. The case dates back to 1997, when Glossop and Justin Sneed were convicted of killing Glossop's boss, Barry Van Treese. How do you tell your kids that they're never going to see their dad again? Sneed got life in prison in return for testifying that Glossop hired him to kill Van Treese. Glossop was sentenced to death. The murderer himself now gets off a of death row and gets life in prison because he pointed a finger at Richard Glossop. The first major takeaway from the report, the investigation team says they interviewed Sneed, where he confirmed he had discussions about, quote, recanting his testimony. While Sneed was talking with his family about recanting, he was also telling all kinds of people that he set Rich up. But the attorney general's office fired back, saying when Mr. Sneed used the word recant, Sneed was referring to his hope to negotiate a shorter prison term in exchange for his testimony at Glossop's second trial. But that never happened. Another key point, the investigation team reported they got access to a new DA case file, where they discovered Sneed was allegedly granted the testimony given by other witnesses before he testified in 2004. Talking with uh, his lawyer, Lawyer and getting him to what looks like change his testimony during trial. Uh, that's, that, that's wrong. Meanwhile, the AG's office is standing by the ruling. They say two different juries hearing sworn testimony or witnesses and viewing the evidence found Glossop guilty of the heinous murder of Dr. Van Treese. Glossop and those who advocate on his behalf are largely unrestrained in terms of what they can present to the public. Glossop's attorney tells us the inmate has a clemency hearing set for November 9th.